Hey YouTube, it's a Friday, it's the 2nd of November 2017, it's a darn near 10 o'clock, I don't know, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, that's kind of late for me, I'm kind of an early to bed, early to rise kind of guy, but I really needed to get the tires mounted up and installed on the 1959 Riverside Silver Pigeon scooter, and I have got them on, uh, if you ever decide to put old rusty bolts into some uh, hydrofluoric acid to get the rust off of them and forget them for about two weeks, they will eat the threads, here to tell you. Anyway, got some new bolts to bolt the wheels back together because somebody ruined the old ones. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, they needed to be replaced anyway, no doubt. So anyway, we have tires on the scooter. It will now roll out of here uh, without having to drag flat tires around. So I, the plan is uh, just giving you a little update on what's coming up. I'm gonna uh, just kind of stick the old John Deere back together. It's got, yeah, it's got a transaxle out. It's a peerless transaxle five speed. I picked one up that's supposed to work. It's sitting right there on my gas cans. Um, peerless transaxle, it needs to get swapped. I'm not gonna take time to do it right now. It's just gonna be probably something, I probably will just sell this in the spring, so I'll just fit it in uh, when I can if the transaxle for some reason is wrong. I think the guy I bought it from uh, has more parts. He was uh, really easy to deal with. And uh, I just go get another one and I keep that one for another day. So for tomorrow, it's probably going to rain tomorrow, but this is, uh, I'll stick the air cleaner back on and just push this outside because I'm running out of room um, and get the scooter off the lift, get the lift cleaned up. And I am going to put, walking out the shop, going to put the 1983 Goldwing Aspen Cade up on the lift. Because I knew when I bought this thing, if you've seen my other videos, that uh, it has a head gasket out. And uh, it was actually leaking on the floor. Uh, when we fired this up, no, we didn't ever start it up at the guy's house I bought it from. But uh, we pulled the spark plugs out and turned it over. And it just shot antifreeze all over the guy's pickup. It was parked right beside this thing. So... We knew it had head gaskets out, and I was actually walking away from it when the guy said, you know, well, what do you offer me for it? And I said, I'd put it in my trailer for 50 bucks, and he couldn't say sold fast enough. I was shocked that he did it. But I was a man of my word. I gave the man $50, and uh, we put her in a trailer. So um, I ordered up a top-end gasket set for this, and uh, everything about this motorcycle is improving quickly i mean the whole thing is starting to work everything that didn't work does work um radio headlight uh front brakes clutch the rear brake pedal is froze still um the the coils and plug wires have just been replaced um that's the old ones ballast resistor and everything look at this look what we found digging in here my brother-in-law found this uh, this thing's been on the dyno, crying out loud. Somebody put this thing on the dyno some years ago, and I have the horsepower and torque and so forth. So, like I say, somebody's taking care of this thing for most of its life, and then the dude that's had it last um, let it go. So, this thing is screaming at me to bring it back, and if everything works well this weekend, uh, maybe as soon as tomorrow... I'll get the head gaskets replaced, and uh, if, if it runs good, I'm going to order every part this thing needs and tires and all that, and uh, just go through it, and uh, I'm going to keep it. Um, everything coming together, uh, I did a little video on the starter because the starter wasn't working well, and turns out whoever had it apart last did a horrible job putting it back together, and it was a quick fix, put it back together, starter's fine. I put the starter in, I hit the button, and it went boom. I mean, it just instantly fired and run for a couple seconds and quit because there's no gas in it. I took another look in the gas tank that I thought was pretty cruddy. Um, it's not as bad as I thought. In fact, it's not near as bad as I thought. Um, it was missing one fairing lower. That's the one that came with it. Um, but I was on eBay the other day 
I was at dinner with my in-laws and uh, on eBay. It's probably not very, very polite or anything. But anyway, uh, I just couldn't get it out of my head that it was missing a major part. And there was a pair of them, yes, left and right, because that one's got pinstriping on it. So if I put one of them on, it wouldn't match, blah, blah, blah. But there was a pair of them in the right color and shipped. We were talking like $29 or something. So I hit the buy it now. So they're coming. Uh, I should see those any day. Um, there's not much else that's missing on them. The windshield's a little dull. It might polish out. It is an aftermarket windshield. Um, if it doesn't polish out, then uh, I'll replace that. So this thing's going on to lift tomorrow. I'm going to get right after it. I'm going to get the engine tore down. I have pulled these apart before. Um, and we'll get head gaskets in it back together. And if it runs good, then it's full speed ahead to uh, get this uh, road worthy. Um, after this, uh, you know, it gets a little fuzzy around here because... I buy too many projects, and I work on what I want to work on. But I do have a step van in the barn now, finally. I am putting the driver's seat in. I need to heat up that tube, that piece of pipe. Um, that thing whole uh, pipe and seat roll forward towards the steering wheel. It's on a hinge. Um, but I need to put a bend in that pipe to level it out and level out the seat, straighten up the back so that it sits better. Right now the seat's in the full forward position it is adjustable back many inches uh four to six inches something like that so i need to do that i was hoping my brother-in-law father-in-law or somebody would stop by because it's going to be a two-person job uh, get a rosebud on the torch and heat that up and then just push the whole thing forward so this is that rack it's a old telecommunications rack that i acquired for nothing and it's going to mount directly behind the driver's seat right at the edge of the floor as you see it, and we'll mount all the way to the ceiling. Uh, that will hold all the amplifiers and other electronic audio equipment. Um, in behind that, of course, these walls will be finished. They'll be insulated. They'll be plywood. I'll probably put carpet on the walls as a sound deadener and make it look decent. I think we'll black everything out in here for the most part. Then I'm going to put mirrors on that wall behind this rack so I can see to make connections. And we'll put a couple of lights, a fan, and uh, power strips along the wall. Um, that stuff, I might get this thing mounted here pretty soon. So it's uh, somewhere besides underfoot. I'll probably do a video on it, but you know, that's that old uh, back seat out of a, a late model Econoline van. It came from one of the colleges. Um, initially i bought it from someone else on uh, craigslist not too long ago and i need to dye that black so i want everything in here black uh, seats uh, bucket seats i bought for this i have one more and i might buy two more to mount four of them one of them there three of them before that rear seat which will be mounted back towards the back doors um, the back doors are going to go away and i'm going to build a ramp so it goes all the way out of the ground so I can haul stuff in and out of here on a hand truck, bring a motorcycle, scooter, or something up into here, and then have the ramp be able to level out and use it like a stage in the rear. So lots of projects in the works, but uh, in the order they're done, not positive. What I do know is this is going on to lift tomorrow, and uh, hopefully uh, she runs... By the end of the day or maybe Sunday morning, if everything goes well and people leave me alone, that's what we're going to do. Thanks for uh, commenting, watching, subscribing, and uh, stay tuned for uh, one Goldwing to run. Thanks, guys.